Yes, I've been slacking with the videos here. I know, I know. I'm getting all the emails from everybody. Where are the videos of the progress of 85? Well, it seems like every time I come up here, I forget my camera. So, we'll go over all the progress that I've done so far. And believe me, there's going to be many more videos to come. It's just a matter of me remembering to bring the camera. Uh, started doing body work, priming, paint. Let's take a look at it. I already did a lot of the body work on the back of the cab. It's got its first coat of uh, first coat of paint. What I'm using is a Rust-Oleum Professional. Uh, it's an industrial truck enamel, and the quality is actually pretty good. It's got some orange peel right now. I need to wet sand it and buff it out. Did this last night. It's all dry now. I got the back of the cab done, and I also did the top of the hood. Uh, very impressed with the paint. Uh, there's a couple of different ways that you can use it. You can spray it on, you can use a brush, and you can roll it on. I chose to roll it on, and what's cool about this is as it's curing, it actually smooths together. It's, so you don't really get any of the runs, you don't get any drips, nothing like that. Um, it's about 40 bucks a gallon. I started with one gallon. Definitely going to have to get quite a bit more. Kind of a mess in here, I got everything apart. My paint tray and my roller. Just a standard 4 inch roller. And I'm telling you, it works awesome. Uh, the reason I'm not spraying it is obviously we have retail cars all over the place here and the last thing I need is a gust of wind to hit and get overspray on any of those cars. That's, I don't even want to deal with that. So I'm very impressed with the way the roller's working out. Um, inside here I got the headliner down right now. i had been working on the roof. Uh, all the wiring. I gotta make a mount for my CB radio to come down. I was able to pop out a couple of those dents. <coughs> uh, primed a couple of places that had some surface rust. There really wasn't anything going through. There was a couple of pinholes. Uh, filled those up with Bondo. There was one up there. And then there was another one right there. Uh, it actually wasn't bad. I was very impressed. Uh, so that's coming along. I gotta put in a couple of those mounts and whatever. Uh, I'm gonna clean up the headrest. Uh, not the headrest, the headliner. I already washed it once, but it's still uh, still kind of dirty, so I'm gonna have to hit that again. Then I'll be able to throw that back up there. Uh, starting on the dash a little bit today here. I brought one of the panels of Lex in here. I gotta line it up, get all my holes lined up and everything. Uh, I'm gonna start ripping out some of these switches and kind of want to clean up behind there. There's a lot of dust and stuff in here. Unfortunately, I can't bring a vacuum up here. There's really no place to plug it in. So, it's going to have to get a full clean once I get the starter out of this thing and, and get it fired up and can move it because if you come around over here, the reason I haven't gotten the starter out yet is we're in a lake here. I happen to park it where all the snow melted, so Unless I grab a pair of flippers and a snorkel or something like that and want to swim under there to get the starter out, it's going to stay. I did some of the Bondo on the fenders where it had the holes. That's still got to be touched up and smoothed down a little bit more. But it's a hell of a lot better than it was uh, with the big holes in it. Just shot a quick coat of paint just to see how it's going to look. I'm going to use the same Rust-Oleum. Uh, in gloss red. The fenders are going to be red, the frame is going to be red, the rims are going to be red. I actually did one of the rims back here just to get a kind of a quick peek at how it's going to look and they shine up nice. These center caps, I purchased those yesterday up at Peterbilt in New Hampshire. Uh, I got those in my pickup truck. I'm going to put those on after I get them painted. Uh, then the rims, I'm going to do that black. That's going to be later. Uh, the frame been sanding a lot of it. Everything under here is going to be bright red. But that's going to come after the cab's all done. Uh, I started sanding, uh, sanding the doors. The doors all sanded, ready for uh, primer paint. This strip right here I thought was painted on. It's actually not. It's a vinyl. Uh, I'm going to have to heat that up, take a razor blade and get rid of that. That way that line's not there. Already did all the measurements for the door for the lettering. That's going to be ordered up pretty soon. Uh, this panel under here is actually at my house. I took that off. I stripped it. I primed it. 
I'm doing the measurements. I'm going to put LED lights that go down the side. I haven't decided on a style yet, so that's been sitting at my house. The other side's still in the truck. Uh, I had to take the batteries out. The batteries did go dead. Uh, I brought those home. I charged those up. They're still sitting there. <coughs> uh, this corner, if you remember it before it was really bent, I was able to take a pair of channel locks and bend it back a little bit more so it's a little bit more presentable. And I mean, it's not perfect, but um, strip this. This is all prime. I got to strip all this, prime that. Uh, the air cleaner, I did this cover piece. And finally found the bees nest that I knew would going to be on this truck. They were all the way up in the top of this thing. Got those out of there. The filter's in good shape. Uh, ripped out a couple of the lines for the PTO. If you notice the front of the grill, the PTO cooler that was right here is gone now. Um, pretty soon this whole bumper is going to be uh, cut back quite a bit. And I just got absolutely soaked. This is what I'm talking about. You can see the difference in the paint. It's going to look good black. Definitely makes a world of difference already. I mean, you can see you can see how shiny that is. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. I'm not going for a show truck. Here, so you know, why spend two thousand dollars on a paint job when I can do this for a couple hundred bucks myself? And it's a really thick enamel, so it's not going to chip easy. If it gets a scratch in it, you just touch it up and you do whatever. That window's got to. I got to do something about the window. It's windy up here. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of wind noise in this video, but bear with me here. Yeah. See, it's kind of fogged up through. I'm going to see what I can't do. It's on the inside, so I'll maybe take a razor blade and some solvent, see if I can get most of that off. I have no idea what it is, but what I'm going to end up doing is a mural on this back window. So it's going to be covered up anyhow. Uh, the rain guard, I did some of the primer work here. This is all solid. Uh, this is another area where there was a tiny pinhole of rust. I gotta sand that down. I gotta finish stripping the rest of the rain guard so I can get started on painting that. I priced out my stack yesterday, so this monstrosity is coming off, and I'm putting on a 7 inch straight pipe. I'm gonna end up putting a muffler either internal or underneath the cab. Haven't decided yet. I gotta make my own bracket for right here. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit more of a project than I wanted to get into uh, this weekend. So I'm going to buy that soon. What I did buy yesterday was a 12-inch drop Outlaw stainless visor. That's going to look awesome on this thing. The only thing is there was no existing visor on here. So what that means is I get to do all the measurements and then drill holes in the cab and set it up. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but you know what, it's going to look real good when it's done. Alright, this is the paint that I'm using. I just sanded down a couple of the rims. I got the first rim done. And uh, here's the result right here. There's gloss black. I haven't done the spokes yet. It's going to be uh, fire engine red in the uh, chrome center cap. So we're just going to let this dry. I'm going to get started on another rim. And, uh, it's coming out good here. Starting some of the interior paint here. Going to do all the metal trim on the dash in gloss black uh, to go along with the red. So just getting started here. Just started taping everything off. And uh, shouldn't take too long. About 20 minutes or so for the first coat. But as you can tell, I mean it's it's rough. So I sanded it all down. Remove the air vents and all that. And getting started with the paint here. I ordered the newer style Eaton Fuller shift knob. Uh, the slope style. That should be arriving pretty soon. Uh, I'm putting a 12 inch extension from here up. Uh, all new airlines. They're a newer style airline. It actually provides more airflow to the transmission. It's better for it. And I'm going to have to replace the lines anyhow when I extend the shifter. So that's going to be a project for probably within the next week or so, depending on when the parts arrive. I'll get a video of that. Uh, this is pretty much all the progress so far, and I will keep you guys updated.